So this is a quick video. I can't really do an unboxing video because I already unboxed it, unfortunately. And you'll have to excuse the shaky cam because I'm trying to do like two things at once here. Um, bloody cats and food <laughs> on the uh, sofa. So yeah, so it's an Ashen style video. So look, hands, but just not as good as the setup. Um, but unlike Ashen's, I do have a better sofa than he does and cleaner. So the the device that I'm about to show you is a small Raspberry Pi style device, but it's actually called ZX Uno. It's a FPGA based hardware emulation, you know, those Dubri Watts. It's I actually bought this because I wanted an, inter an interim board between uh, the from, well for the Spectrum Next. I do programming. I've already done some pro uh, a couple of programming on the Spectrum uh, th for the Z80 ones anyway, and I've just worked out how to do the, the Z80 code for the Spectrum next. And this has other cores, which I'll explain later on in the video which ones they are because it's got a boot, so you can see all the all the different ROMs. Um, so anyway, the the device itself, I'll just zoom in a little bit manually, so you can see it a bit clearly. And if you, <laughs> you have to excuse the noise next to me, it's my cats who are busy playing with each other. Anyway, um, so this is not the typical version of the ZX Uno, do apologize again for the shaky cam. This here is actually the expanded part which I decided to spend a bit more on and it comes with a DAC video uh, video port and the uh, Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi I've not tested yet unfortunately. Um, so let's have a look at the ports that you get. So you've got, I don't know if this will focus properly. Probably not. It's not a great camera. So anyway, this part here is the specialised RGB. That's if you don't get this, and you want um if you if you want um the VGA port, you'd have to get a special cable, which is this one here. Uh, I will probably throw up a couple of images so or post. I'll probably post a link at the bottom so you can see which ones they are. This bit that says MIC, that's the actual ear port for the spectrum uh, you know for the tape playing now I'd only just got the SD cards for this today and yesterday I really wanted to try out the tape player because I got the tape player because I've, I've got an original spectrum now and I was like oh I'll see what it's like and it's not too bad actually I had a couple of R tape loading errors but I'm not sure if that's to do with the cassette being next to the computer or something else I'm not too sure but uh, I'll show you that when I get there uh, in the next video. Sorry, in the next part of this video. Um, so moving this around, you see the the PS2 keyboard and the that's the Kempston joystick. So let's zoom this out a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, the PS2 is fairly USB-like, so you can actually plug it in after the device is booted, and it will pick it up straight away. Then you've get the um, the audio and video composite cables, and the last section is the that's the VGA for the, um, the VGA for the. Um, uh, yeah, the VGA port. Sorry, <laughs> my brain's just going today. And um, there's your there's your SD section, and this is the interesting one. This five volt section. This does not come with any cables, and the whole idea is it's supposed to be out of the box cables. That five volt one is really there for um, chargers, so it uses the same the same charger as the. I think what I used was my Samsung S3 Mini, and that was more than adequate to power it. it they basically said enough forums that 
as long as it's anything above 0 0.5 amps. Is it, is it more, no, I think it's 0 0.5 amps because the the plug that I use is 0 0.7 amps, and that yeah, yeah that seems to have worked fine because I think uh, the PC will bring out 0 0.5 amps. But yeah, anyway. Um, so that's that, and the only one thing recently I've discovered is you can actually lift the top here, and uh, I've only just noticed that, so, <laughs> so you can have a quick look in there, without the shiny bit, even though it's not massively in focus, so yeah, um, so the next section of the video will be detailing how this runs, um, so there you go. Right, so this is the ZX Uno boot machine. It's not quite the boot machine because when you start, you, when you, it, it's control, all backspace, and when it powers up, this is how it works. And it'll now boot straight into the 48K mode. Um, to get access to the menu, you just do control, alt, and F5. And there you go, that's the menu. So if we have a look at the Spectrum folder, and uh, this only runs TAP and Z80 files. So we'll have a look at something. Um, not that one. Yeah, let's have a look at this one. Onto the edges, there you go. So... Uh, P L P L Z X. Let's see if we can start the game. We can. And it picks up the sounds quite nicely. You can actually see a version of this being played on until I die one because it's one of mine. That used to have. Oh. So I'll have a quick game of this. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I just want to show really the other cores, including the ZX Next. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that was close. Back the other way. Oh. When I complete this section, to be honest, I can't remember who actually completed it in the uh, video. Oh shit, not again. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Should have almost completed this now. And there you go. So I'm just gonna quit out of that now. So yeah, this is the so I did the uh control alt and backspace and then as soon as that I uh, got into that menu I immediately placed uh, pressed caps lock and that will give me the boot machine that I can boot for now for, uh, from. So we've got the Sam Coupe. Which is this? Uh, is there anything I remember to get the? No. No. Right, I can't remember how to get into. I've not really looked, to be honest, to, to get the other two stuff. But you can see it working, so it's going to be an emulator. It's going to do what you need it to do. Uh, we've got the Jupiter Race. Again, I don't remember. I've got some games on it. I just don't remember how to access the access the um, the menu if the if I can. Uh, we've got the Master System, which I don't have any ROMs for. We've got the ZX Spectrum Next here, that will quite happily boot. Uh, 
and we know that this is working because we can do this and that's running and if I do what was it now F10 that brings that familiar menu, menu up and this is my sprite test that actually does work on the the beta snapshots of this so the, this is kind of the early version and nothing's been confirmed yet as to whether they're going to have the you know the updated version it possibly is but from what I've been told in the forums that um, I think they said that the FPGA on next is pretty full now and it's not going to fit into the ZX Uno so what might happen and that's a might is they might do a, a a light version possibly but it's it's whether it'll happen or not I don't know so back to the boot menu oh I'm going I'm going to click this hang on there you go Right, so we've got the BBC Micro that for some reason on this does not seem to want to work because all I get is I get that and then this and then it fucks up so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, there is the Acorn Electron does the same thing. The VIC-20 does this and goes to where you want it to go. And then you've got the Auric Atmos, that works, I think, yep, there you go, is there any special buttons for this, no, doesn't appear to be, okay, um, this doesn't work right, okay. That's fine, I'll have to plug and pull, pull it back in again. Alright, okay, so what have we got? We've got the Apple II, I can't use that at the moment because I've only got composite in. And my VGA cable is around somewhere. Similar than theirs, you've got the Atari 2600, Atom, PC, XT, 512, these arcade ones don't work well. They do, but again, it's, 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 uh, it just messes up and I think it's a VGA mode. So set up this, this shows me all the ROMs that have, that's there, um, any upgrades I need to do, anything that I can boot. So I could, I, if I wanted to, I can get it to boot to this all the time if I wanted to, but it, it's, it's at ZX Spectrum at the moment. Um, tells me, oops, keyboard layouts, whether I can swap to different uh, joysticks, uh, swap the video to what I need it to, um, increase the CPU speed as well. Uh, well oh, there's a tape text as well. I, the one thing I did, I, I'm not going to show on this, but I have seen is I've managed to plug a tape deck into this and out of the four games I've got two of them have worked so it kind of works it's it's a bit temperamental I'm not sure whether you need to perform a tape test beforehand maybe you do I don't know but I think that's it pretty much in a nutshell is, is the ZX Uno apologies for not being able to show any game footage if you do want me to show some game footage from the ZX Uno, let me know and I'll uh, get recording done. So, until the next video, I will see you then. Bye.